Hello everyone. Uh, now that I have all my pistons uh, fitted to my connecting rods, uh, it's time to check the uh, piston ring end gap. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But first I'm going to show you the rings I'll be using. Um, they're by a brand called uh, Perfect Circle. Um, I've heard of them before, I've never used them. Uh, usually I use Hastings, but I couldn't find any Hastings rings. Um, they look like good rings. Um, uh, on the back of the box it says contents made in USA, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, France, and India. So got a little variety there. Um, these are 40 thousandths over pistons. Uh, there's a couple part numbers on here. Those are the numbers. And uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, check your end ring gap. Now, first, whenever you open the box, you'll notice a couple different sets of rings in here. Okay, first one says top groove for these ones up here. Next one says second groove for your second ring. And this over here, these are all your bottom groove rings. These are your oil control rings. So, first thing you want to do is find out what the gap is supposed to be. Um, I think the gap on this engine is 9 thousandths. Uh, let me refer to my book. For the top compression ring. I believe that's what it is. thousandths is the uh, compression ring end gap. The oil ring clearance is 15 to 55 thousandths. Now it also has a note in this book that if your piston rings do come with uh, different instructions like uh, for aftermarket rings such as these um, to go ahead and use their instructions instead but uh, mine didn't. It didn't really have a set thing. Something interesting about these rings I found, they also fit uh, Chevy engines, Jeep engines, and Buick engines too. They all must have had the same relative bore. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean these cylinders out one more time. You want to make sure they're nice and clean for this. Grab your paper towel and wipe out your old uh, WD-40 that's on in your cylinders. And if it comes out dirty, spray it down and wipe it out again. But I think I did a pretty good job of keeping this thing clean. Wipe them all out. Okay, still good and clean. So now what we're going to do, uh, put a little bit of light oil in here. Something like 3 in 1 or something that's real light, you know, just to prevent your cylinder walls from being scratched in the rings. Just a little bit and then wipe it around in there. You don't have to wipe down the whole entire cylinder. Uh, just probably about the first 4 inches or so down in. Okay, and what you're going to do is grab your top ring and one of your new pistons that you just fitted up. It doesn't really matter which one you grab, but um, something to note, if your rings have this little dot, see that little dot right there? That means they go up. So I'm just going to set this in here. It doesn't matter so much what way you set it in. But uh, just make sure that that little dot is up. And the reason you want to grab your piston 
is you want to square that ring up in there so you get an accurate reading. So go ahead and take your piston and just kind of push it down in a little bit to square it. You don't go have to have to go too deep, but okay. Now that's our gap right there. So go ahead and take your feeler gauges. Take me a second to find them. I don't know where I set them. And stick a feel gauge in between that gap, and that will be your uh, reading. So our range is 9 to 19, so isolate your 9 thousandths uh, to 19 thousandths feel gauges and just use them. And if, if the gap ends up being too tight, I'll show you what you have to do. So there's a 10. Twelve. And 13's pretty snug in there. So we're right right in the good area of our range not too tight and it's not too loose so that's about perfect so now what you want to do is retrieve your ring try and pull it out and be gentle not to scratch your walls just kind of roll it over like this and then pinch it together and then just pull it right out so now that we measured that I'm just going to set it aside because I'm just going to use it for that piston because it's already measured for that bore now, a lot of ring manufacturers, especially the good ones, they're pretty consistent with their rings. But uh, you want to make sure that you measure every single ring in that pack because uh, just one ring that's too tight can uh, seize up your engine. So now here's our second ring. See, it's got the dash, and it's got this inside bevel. So we know that that goes up. So make sure you've got good oil still all over in your cylinders. Go ahead and insert your second ring. Pull it up a little bit. Okay, grab your piston. Square it out. Yeah, we got 13 on the last one, so I'm just going to go ahead and try 13 again. That's a good, nice fit. 13 for our second ring as well. Okay. And you want to lay them in order. So just put your top one on top of your second one. And just leave it right in front of the cylinder that it's going to go in. Now for your oil control rings. Um, the only rings that you measure, I'll show you how these oil control rings work. Looks like they're all going to come out, I guess. They're all stuck together. Okay, the way these work is you have this large thing here. This this is kind of what does, it kind of wipes away the oil. And then you have actually two. So it's actually a sandwich, like this. That's how these are on there. And then they fit in the piston in there. But all we're gonna measure is just the two actual rings. At least that's how I do it. I'm not sure if there's another way to do it or not, but that's this is just how I do it. And uh, there's no up or down dots for these, so it doesn't really matter if, which way you set them in. But our clearance for this, I believe, was 15 to 55, so you have a pretty wide swing for these. loose let's 
try the 16. 16 is loose too. Bump up to like a 20. Oops. Getting snug. We'll bump up to a 25. Just try it. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and re-square this. It's kind of getting bumped around. Now it's important to keep that uh, ring square or else you get a false reading. See, as I was going up, I was actually going up in sizes because it wasn't square, but this 16 has a nice feel to it. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and check your other oil control ring. And uh, after you have, all, have them all sorted out, uh, just keep those ones for that cylinder that you measured. So I'm just going to be setting these three or this set of rings right here just so I know that they go to that cylinder and I'll just go ahead down through in each one and measure them all um, that's about how you measure them that's how I do it anyways um, I never had a problem doing it that way and if you find that your clearance is too tight what you have to do is just file the ends down ever so slightly and uh, remember to take the burr off whenever you file them so that it doesn't scratch it up but you just want to keep doing that until you do get your clearance but I've actually never had to do that um, every set of rings I've bought is, has been right in range but uh, that's about it for this video in the next one I'll show you how to install the rings on the pistons and uh, one thing to do before you install the rings on the pistons is check your uh, piston to bore clearance it's where you just stick the piston in the bore and stick a filler gauge beside it. But I'll show you how to do that before we uh, install our rings onto our pistons. Alright, thank you for watching.